Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video, we're going to do the horizontal analysis of the income statement. The purpose of the horizontal analysis is to compare performance against the previous year. So if you think about the horizon, right, the sun rises over the horizon, so it's a horizontal line. So we're going to be comparing 2015 to 2014 in this case. So the first thing you want to do is you want to do the dollar change. So the way I like to think about it is 2015 minus 2014 equals your dollar change. So if we take the difference in sales, our sales went up, so we know this is going to be a positive number. You're going to want to record positive changes as positive and negative changes as negative. So my sales increased if I take 2015's number minus 2014's number my sales increased by 270,000 okay my cost of goods sold also increased so I'm going to take the 3,560,000 minus 3,340,000 and that's a difference of 270,000 I'm sorry, 220,000. My gross profit also increased by 50,000. My selling and administrative increased by 10,000. So in this case, everything increased. And my profit increased by 40,000. Okay, so now I have all those done. Now remember, if any of those have been negative, you'd want to indicate that it was a decrease. Now I have to do my percent change. So what the percent change is, is it just tells me how much, what percentage did the number change. And so when you're doing that, your percent change is equal to the dollar change divided by the prior year. Because we're trying to figure out how much did it change from the previous year. So that's why you're doing the dollar change over the prior year. Because if you think about it, it's a percent change, right? So what percentage did it change? So for my sales, it changed $270,000 over the 2014 sales of 6380000 Okay, so in this case, 270,000 we'll do the sales so that way you can see the calculation divided by 6,380,000 okay and that percentage is 4.23 percent okay if we do cost of goods sold 220,000 divided by 3,340,000 is equal to 6.59%. My gross profit, gross profit 50,000 divided by 3,040,000 because that's the 2014 number, so that is 1.64%. My change in selling administrative, 10,000 over 1,970,000 is only 0.51 percent and then my operating income 40,000 divided by 1,070,000 is equal to 3.74 percent okay so now let's take a look at this thing okay now how do we interpret this so really for me it's great you know it's great that operating income is up okay that's awesome the thing that worries me with this one, and you can really only see it when you do the percentage change. So sales went up 270,000, cost of goods sold went up 220,000. You would expect that if sales went up, cost of goods sold would go up. But if I look at the percentages, my sales were up 4.23%, and my cost of goods sold was up 6.59%. Now, I would kind of expect that those two numbers, those two percentages would be really close together, right? Because every time I make a sale, 
I sell one unit of my product. So if sales go up 4.23%, I would expect cost of goods sold to go up by pretty much the same percentage. But it didn't. Okay, so what does this tell me? This tells me that there were either issues with um, the cost of production, so maybe as the sales went up, they had to, you know, they had people working overtime, or maybe they had to have materials um, shipped more quickly, maybe the cost of material went up, the cost of labor went up. So this is something that I would want to take a look at. I want to know why this increase is 2% more than the increase in sales. So these are the kind of things that you see when you do a percent change that you don't necessarily see when you do a dollar change. So that's why we do both. You do the dollar change and you do the percent change and then you interpret it to see what the company should be concerned with or um, maybe what the company can learn from, right? Like we increase sales, how did we increase sales? Did we try something new? Maybe there was you know, a group that was doing more with social media and that was effective. So, you know, we'd want to kind of break that down further and see, okay, how did we achieve the increase in sales? So that's it. That's all there is to a horizontal analysis. Just make sure when you're doing it, the percent change is the dollar change divided by the prior year. Okay, that's where I see most students mess up when they do this. But that's it. So if you have any questions about this video, please make sure to leave a comment down below. Hey, even if you just liked it, leave a comment down below. I love the comments. Um, share it with your friends, like, subscribe to the channel, um, help people find us, and those are the ways that you can do that. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Thanks.